Y'all feel that? That thing in the right around the corner? Yep. I'm talking about that Nintendo Direct. And with that Nintendo Direct, there's only one thing I thought of when that Direct dropped. That specific announcement. The final DLC for Smash. Yes. It is the, it is end, the end of all things. things. I'm getting... Stop! I don't know why I've been saying that so much today. I, I like that, that was the only quote I was thinking of the whole day, um, when thinking about the final Smash DLC. Cause like, if you don't know, that's like a quote I got from Mortal Kombat 2011 for the beginning of story mode because um, it was the timeline for Armageddon, Shao Kahn won, and he was about to conquer all the realms now they obtained the power of Armageddon. Cause that's what I was thinking about. Cause Let's face it, this final character, <laughs> it's, it's going to be interesting, cause like, they can do something good, or they can do something bad, so, it's going to go either way, so we're going to have to see what happens, but, oh man, I, I don't know how that's gonna go. Honestly, with all the stuff we're getting, um, this October, I... I'm honestly okay with how this direct can go, because like, let's see here, we're getting Monkey Ball, we're getting Nickelodeon All-Stars, and we're getting Metroid Dread. I'm, I'm probably gonna make a big video for Metroid Dread, just because of how big that's going to be, especially in terms of Metroid, because like, I wanna make Metroid content later down the road, and I also have like other skits I'll talk about later. But, oh, and we're also getting Mario Party Superstar, so we already have, like, a bunch of other stuff happening um, this October, so I don't know what could possibly happen. The two things I do know that have been going around are the a leak of saying that we're getting a new Pro Controller, and, of course, um, Game Boy games for Switch Online. So, yeah, that's... I want to see happen. I want to see more stuff happen for Switch Online. That is probably the one thing I need to see because, like, the last thing we saw that was big for Switch Online was the SNES and I want to say like the pack, the Battle Royale stuff, but eh, it's just like one game. So I really hope they go big. So yeah, so I'm definitely going to be streaming it, of course. And speaking of the stream, oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. Today, I earned affiliate status for Twitch, so now, I can use emotes, and y'all can sub to me on Twitch, and when you do so, you can use my three new emotes, which are my Patrick Star as Payne, my Richard Watterson one, and I don't know what my third one is right now, I'm going to have to check, I think it's like the LET'S GO emote, so I'll have to check what my emotes, but, um, the more subs I do get, I the more um, the more emotes I get to have. So be sure to watch that on Twitch because that's going to be my first ever stream as a Twitch affiliate. So that is going to be loads of fun. The two things I do know that have been going around are the a leak of saying that we're getting a new Pro Controller and of course um, Game Boy games for Switch Online. So, yeah, that's, I want to see happen, I want to see more stuff happen for Switch Online. That is probably the one thing I need to see, because, like, the last thing we saw that was big for Switch Online was the SNES, and I want to say, like, the pack, the Battle Royale stuff, but, eh, it's just, like, one game, so, I really hope they go big, so, yeah, so, I'm definitely going to be streaming it, of course, and speaking of the stream, oh, 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 today I earned affiliate status for Twitch, so now I can use emotes, and y'all can sub to me on Twitch, and when you do so, you can use my three new emotes, which are my Patrick Star as Payne, my Richard Watterson one, and 
I don't know what my third one is right now. I'm going to have to check. I think it's like the let's go emote. So I'll have to check what my emotes, but um, the more subs I do get, I the more um, the more emotes I get to have. So be sure to watch that on Twitch because that's going to be my first ever stream as a Twitch affiliate. So that is going to be loads of fun. Just going back to like Smash, of course, because like. That's like the, that, that's going to be like the big thing for Zay, especially since it's the last DLC. Because like, if you all, if you all know by now, this is going to be the final character for e forever. Like, there's no one, no one else is getting in. Nobody. No updates. That's it. This is going to be the last thing. So, I'm gonna give y'all my five that I want for this game, and y'all can let me know what y'all think for who should be in. Starting off, and it's likely that it won't happen, and I'm annoyed that it won't, and I, 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 I honestly cry at the fact that it won't happen, and that's a Sonic rep, like, any of them would be okay, like, either Tails, Knuckles, or Eggman, just like, give me one, please, I, it, it, it annoys me that the fact that, um, Xenoblade and Final Fantasy are, like, other franchises that came before Sonic in Brawl, like any character that came in Smash 4, got more reps than Sonic that has been. Like Sonic's alone. Like I don't, I don't care if he's like a third party. Just, just, he has so many good characters that have so many good concepts. Like please, like I could see him having so much potential, but nope, it just gets wasted. Honestly, for my fourth pick, um, I'm giving it to. Spyro. Now, I, now this is a different one. Now, this is interesting because for a lot of people, they want Crash. But for me, I want to go with Spyro because when PlayStation dropped, there was two mascots. There was either Spyro or Crash Bandicoot. And I grew up playing Spyro more, so I'm sorry, Crash Bandicoot fans. I I, I like Spyro more, and I think he needs more love than Crash. I'm, I. And I know it's not possible because like Crash would be the possible better um, rep, but I just love Spyro more. I I, I want to see him get more love. He didn't even get like a a fourth game like Crash did. Like he got it's about time. Like when Spyro's time. He was stuck in Skylanders. I want to see him get more time, please. Just just give my boy more time. That's all I ask. For my third one. Like, I'm not much, like, a fan of it, but, like, it still would be an awesome pick. And I have to say, Master Chief. Just just because of how great of a reaction that everyone would have for, like, Halo Infinite. Oh, yeah, speaking of Halo Infinite, I got a beta access for Halo Infinite this week, so I'm about to be in there like, ta 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 I don't know how many times I've watched that key fit where he's show- where he's, um showing off how Xbox players felt when watching the PS5 uh, presentation. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just so funny, like seriously, watch, go to watch, go to the Keith Krum, look up how Xbox players felt watching the PS5 presentation. It's a funny video. Okay, so since I used up all that time to uh, talk about Keith and other stuff, I'm just gonna move on to uh, number two. Honestly, for number two, um, it took me a while to understand why people wanted this character so much, but finally, after playing Kingdom Hearts, I understand well, how cool Sora would be for a, for a character, and I got so hooked on Kingdom Hearts 2, like, my gosh, if you have not played that, play Kingdom Hearts 2. It, it, it's on the Game Pass for Xbox, so check that out, but Sora, I'd see, would be a really great fit, especially for how I'd be able to cross over with... Nintendo characters, especially since he's technically both a Square Enix and a Disney character. So it's... Oh yeah, I forgot about Disney, so that might be a problem. Whoops. Now... I'm just going to tell y'all this, and I'm gonna keep it real, like, look, if it doesn't... I know it's not possible, but listen, I need this character in, because like, it would be like the biggest crossover yet if it happens. Because, like, let's think about this. We have Street Fighter, we have Tekken, and we have Fatal Fury. We have three fighting games in one game. Just just think about it. Just think about it if we got Scorpion. We, we, we have all four fighting games from the 90s. All of them from SNK, 
from from Bandai, from Capcom, and from NetherRealm Studios, all in one. It, it, it would be the great biggest crossover yet. That's all I would ever want. I don't care if he's banned in, J in, in Japan because of Mortal Kombat. I don't care if he's too violent. I don't care if he's too inappropriate. We've seen Sakurai get away with it. So we have to see what happens tomorrow at 6 p.m. E Eastern time because like I'm on the East Coast and 3 p.m. PT if you're on the Pacific side. So we won't have to see what happens. Uh, everyone pull up to my stream. I better see y'all pull up to my stream. I will give away subs for y'all to use my email emotes because I, it took me a while to reach um, affiliate and I want to share that with y'all so I will be giving away some Twitch subs um, for that event. So everyone tune in tomorrow 6 p.m. for the Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. I I, I ended with this something funny, but um, I couldn't even think of it. <laughs>